Hey what's up guys, my name is Vishub and you are watching everyone's story. So today in this video, I am going to review episode 76 of this Pokemon journeys. But before that, I want you guys to like the video as a motivation purpose for me. Now without wasting any time, let me jump straight to the video. Ok the episode start with Bo finding out about the Alola Island race. And telling it to Ash and ends up with a decision to participate in this race. Soon then Ash and Bo arrived in the Alola, where they sign up for the race first. Then two boys run up to them, and they immediately recognize as Ash as the first Alola champion. And after that they also treat Ash as a big celebrity. And now at this point, Bo also come to know that Ash is the Alola champion, and he was quite shocked to find out about this. Since I like that Ash have a very humble reaction, like oh really I forgot to tell you about this. Which actually also very suit to Ash character, as he's not the kind of person who show off. Whatever, the boys tell Ash that they will compete against him in the silent race. And then we saw that the rules of the race get announced. Which was very simple, like the trainer with their Pokemon will race each other. And they have to catch some of the Pokemon, to go to the another round. Now the race begin, the first round was to climb a mountain, and out there they have to catch an Alolan Geodude. Then after catching the Alolan Geodude, they also have to register it that they had completed their first mission in order to go to the second one. Meanwhile, we saw Team Rocket was planning to catch Pikachu and all the other Alolan Pokemons. But then they just remembered about their Alolan friends, like James Marini, Jesse Mimikyu and Bobear too. And they decided that after their Pikachu catching mission, they will go to see them. Although on the other hand, everyone encounter a big rock on their way, and the two full powered boys try to use their Z moves to break the big rock. However they can't able to use the Z move properly, but thankfully Go Boldo throw that big rock with a headbutt. Since at this point, Go asked Ash that does he also can use Z move, and Ash say yes, but currently he don't have his Z ring. So as I told you guys in my previous video, that because of some event of episode 76, Ash will bring his Z ring back in episode 77. And now it seems, that because Go wants to see Ash Z move, and also Ash have to fight a very tough match in the next episode. He is first going to bring his Z power ring back, in starting of the next episode. Although after that the second round start, in which they have to catch a Bruxish Pokemon. Since now again another interesting thing happened, that Ash called out his Lucario, and tell him to find Bruxish with his order. So it was a very awesome moment, as I remembered then the last time Sir Aaron Lucario, was the one who uses his aura to locate any Pokemon, and the reason they show Lucario one episode before Ash vs Wapner match. Is that writers wants to show, that Lucario is also Ash very good Pokemon. Whatever, to be honest it was really very awesome, to see aura floating from Lucario, especially his blue eyes were looking so amazing. Although after that Go catches that Bruxish Pokemon, with the help of his Pukumuku. Then the two boys also come there, to complete their second mission. And they again try to use their Z move, which again get failed completely. Then this time Ash go to them, and told them that they are not doing it perfectly. Because wearing a Z ring doesn't mean, that you can use a Z move anytime. And to perform Z move you need to be so focused, and you must have a flame to use it properly in battle. So Ash gives some of these advice to them, and they become so happy to hear advice from the champion. Then they move to their last mission, in which they have to catch up Asimian. Since out here Ash called out a good memory, that Parsimian Pokemon likes to play catch catch. That's why they all started to play, show that Parsimian Pokemons could come out from their hideout. And Ash plan even worked, but Team Rocket suddenly come out of nowhere, and try to catch Pikachu and the Parsimian Pokemons. Now again this time those boys come out there, and again try to use their Z move. However this time with the help of Alola Champion advice, they were able to perform the Z move very much perfectly. And when Ash congrats them for it, they become very happy. But they have to complete the race, so they all started to run as fast as they can. Since it was a very close one, but Ash reached first, and they end up by winning this Alolan Island race. Then we also see that Team Rocket reunited with their Alolan Pokemons, which was very adorable to see. And now at last, when Ash and Go was about to leave, Ash get an email for his first Hyper Class match. Since this email was not actually from Warpner, because in Hyper Class the computer system decides that which trainer have to battle against which trainer. So basically both the trainer might get the email, that they are going to face each other. Whatever we also come to know, that Wapner current rank in 27. So if Ash will win against him, then Ash rank is going to have a long jump. Although as for my opinion, this episode was amazing, there were various things to note down in this episode. Like Ash Alola champion status revealed to Bo, Lucario use his aura in this episode, Ash explain how to use AZ move properly, and finally Wapner vs Ash match get set. So this episode rating is 8 out of 10. And now that's all for this video, I hope you guys had enjoyed it, so don't forget to subscribe this channel and hit that bell icon, to get more this type of related videos in future. Also be sure to comment your thoughts, related to this episode. Now at last as always, you can follow me on my social media handles, like Instagram and Twitter. Thanks for watching.